Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria, if you guys don't know who I am. Tonight I'm doing a wash day routine. I talked about her hair care routine when I did a like a Florida update video like a while ago. And, but it wasn't like a dedicated video because I was talking about obviously like Florida stuff, if you guys saw that video. So this is gonna be like a just a dedicated video of me doing her, well wash, actually washing her hair. Okay. Yes? What's that? Your camera, wanna say hi? <laughs> Where are you going? All right, I think I fixed the white balance issue. You ready for a bath? Mm, yeah, look at that kitty. Should we see your face? Little go face. So I should probably start her bath water. But yeah, this looks so much better, oh my gosh. I'll tell you guys about the products that I'm gonna be using on her hair. The one shampoo that I referenced when she was six months old, I don't know what happened to that. I, I'm not sure I entirely ran out of it, but we don't have it here. I've been trying to wait to do her wash day routine because we went to the beach twice and she got sand in her hair, of course. Huh? You know what's your shampoo? What? Shampoo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna shampoo your hair. I found one that was actually like made of rubber and it kind of sit like an upside down hat, like an upside down baseball cap, but she kind of hated it and it didn't stay because she was too young. And we, end, I think we ended up throwing it away because it just wasn't working. And I should have kept it until her head actually filled out in the cap. So I found this on Amazon because this was $8.99, I think. And they have like several different versions, but this particular one that, or the company I purchased it from, even though they're all the same product, it had better reviews on it for, the, I think in terms of shipping and just dealing with the company. So really, really simple kind of a creation, but hopefully it works. Yeah. She is really good about me washing her hair, but she just doesn't fully understand that like, okay, if I pin my head forward, water goes forward. So it's not a nightmare, like it's doable, but I just prefer to have to, to deal less with like her yelling and screaming if like water gets in her eyes and stuff, so. We're gonna use this today. Yeah, you know that no, it goes on your head like this, huh? Yeah, I thought I was gonna use the patch in the, the potty. No, it doesn't go in the potty. She does have this. Got this from Target. Body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. I don't really use this for her hair. Actually, I, I, I don't use this for her hair at all. It's more hot. It's more hot? Yeah, it's going to go away. It's going to go away. It's going to go away. You want me to turn the water on? Oh, yeah. Huh? I'm not done. You're not done. You're not doing your hair yet. The back of her hair, I mentioned in a video I reviewed the shampoo for Shea Moisture, like the kids version. I said in that that I like using it because it doesn't have sulfate in it, so it doesn't dry out her hair. In the same area of her head, she still has like right here, like literally just this section where it's more dry. In terms of like what I wash her hair with, I prefer using the shampoo from Shea Moisture. If I do it like twice a month, so I can use that. And then I'll use the same product I used since she was like born, Johnson's Baby Shampoo. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Cause it seems like it's working so far with keeping the water out of her eyes, but without this, it'd be the only way I can try to not get water in her eyes. If I do it like section by section, so that way I can like pour the water off by section without it trying to get her face. It doesn't always work, but that's like the only method I've found that's actually like the best. Hopefully this thing works and I'm glad she doesn't mind it so far. And then try to separate her hair as much as possible. Make sure since her hair is dirty from like the beach, you get all over her hair. For the most part, this thing works really well. If you dump water right in the front, then some water gets through, but it only got through on the left side of her face, where it got through to her eyes. Thankfully, I was using Johnson Johnson, so it wasn't a big deal. For your $9, it's actually pretty good. You guys can see, where is it? This section of her hair, right here. Like, you see how it's like, I don't know if you, if you can even pull it up, but right here, like that section. See how her curls aren't very defined? Like, see how like it's, it's staticky? That's like what I'm talking about. Like this section, she's always had such a little. And it's not even at like the bottom of her hair. It's just like in the small section right here in the back of her head. Paul Mitchell, teach her hair about a moisturizer. This I love on my hair itself, and I love it on her hair too. But this just like just goes above and beyond. And I think it's just because this has like petroleum, you know, petroleum jelly in it, regular coconut oil, oil. And then this over top of it is perfect. But we don't have more coconut oil, so I'm gonna use this to kind of like encapsulate her hair and her curls. I just towel dried her hair just by scrunching it. I don't like you know pull it down her hair or anything like that. I just scrunch it just like this. And, and that's it. Usually let her hair like air dry until she goes to bed and then the rest overnight. But Tokyo, she walks. What is Ellie? I do a lot of like finger detangling and just detangling in general before I actually put a comb to her hair. 
I get asked a lot by like people who I actually know in real life. Since I deleted Facebook, hopefully this video makes it to the people who have asked me this in real life about what I do with her hair. And then I always start from the ends of her hair and then work my way up. And her hair doesn't tangle very easily, but if I don't comb it every single day, it will tangle. Like I said earlier, it will turn into that typical, stereotypical mixed kid hair. I try not to put any like type of mechanical damage in her hair by like constantly like, you know, doing her hair so much. So that's why I kind of do this every two days. And on the days where I actually don't just sit here and do this at night, because I don't do this every single night, take her hair out, whatever it was, finger to tangle it, and then rebraid her hair. So that way her hair is still being trained to, you know, not be unruly, but it's not, I'm not trying to put so much pressure on her hair with using a comb. The only time I use a brush in her hair is when I'm brushing her hair in the morning to put in a ponytail. I don't brush her hair at night. I only just do this with a comb. And that's basically, basically, yeah, I kind of just let her hair tell me what it needs. Like, if I don't need to comb it all the way to the root, then I don't. If I can just finger detangle and just like comb out her ends like this, then that's all I do. You can see like my fingers are running right through her hair and then there's finger detangle right there. I know a lot of people in person have asked me too, how do I get her to sit there for her hair to actually be done? And I've been doing her hair since she was little, like even before she had like actual curls when she had straight hair, since she was like literally firstborn. She's never not just let me do her hair. I mean, she's like fussed and stuff, but that's when putting on something like Pocoyo, Netflix, giving her on my phone, anything like that, like is really helpful. I wasn't raised to like fuss with doing my, when my mom did my hair, so I wasn't gonna let her do that. And I was determined to <laughs> make sure my mom knew that I knew how to do her hair too, because she swore up and down that I didn't know how to do hair. Because I'm not a hairstylist and I've never like played with Barbies or anything like that growing up. She really swore that like I didn't know what I was gonna be able to do. Oh.
Don't see.